dot of glue just in the tail area and glue that to the clamshell. That just stops that fabric and paper flapping around. Just want... Yes, that's right. And this area here is much easier to cover with a glue pen than with a needle and thread. I probably wouldn't even have my needle threaded by now and the whole thing's covered. And you're able to pull it nice and taut over the paper, whereas tacking can sometimes, look, the paper wants to slip out, okay? So that's the gluing side of it. Once you've got your clamshells covered, the next step is to join them together into a row. So to do that, you butt the clamshells together. You can feel where that cardboard ends, so you just put a little tacking stitch in there and join them together. So you just keep joining them together till you've got the desired width or length of your border. The papers are still in them at this stage. The next step I like to do, and this is where some people get turned off the glue because they'll go to pull their clamshells, the papers out of their clamshells, and they'll end up looking like this. They've lost the shape. You can't applique that down without difficulty. So the next step I like to do is paint some starch on here. And this is a starch pen, so it's a controlled applicator. I don't have to spray it and have it go everywhere. Press them with the eye. Now the starch does two things. It firstly this is a water-soluble pen, glue pen, so it softens the glue because the glue stuck the fabric down, but we want to be able to take the papers out. So by softening the glue and then the heat of the iron also helps to set that shape. So then you can come along and this will just flick up. So you'll end up with clamshells looking like this when your papers come out, nicely pressed and flat. So then the next step is to sew them to your quilt or your border or cushion, whatever you're working on. And we don't need a whole backing sheet of fabric now. We only need a starting strip. Your clamshells, you always have to applique the first row onto something. So for this size clamshell, I'd probably cut a strip of fabric four or five inches, like I've done on this here. And then I've drawn a line, or press a line onto your fabric so it's straight. And then you'll use the tops of the clamshells to sit them along this straight edge. And they'll automatically want to sit straight because they're joined together. So if you imagine pulling on your clamshells, they won't sit one higher than the other or off to the side. And then once you've appliqued that first row on, then your second row is easy to appliqué because that tacking stitch tells you your position of your next row. And you just appliqué that down. Much easier. Yeah. So um, you could um, give them a go again. I'm sure you'll find it a lot on that side. Yeah. 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 Yeah.